Good day to you, beloved. It's been a while since we've done one of these. <laughs> See how uh, how rusty I am. However, I was guided to speak a little teeny bit today about a configuration of one's filter, mind, body, spirit complex. I could say it's a way of thinking. However, it's not necessarily that. There's more of an emotional layer that is the the majority of this particular idea. So bear with me as I stumble through attempting to express the nature of this idea, concept, if you will. However, it's about healing. Let us recognize something. It's been quite a few times that we've spoken about the idea of kings and queens not validating illusions, right? However, there's quite a few different layers to grasping that idea. Some ideas I want to express today that might, might be helpful on your journey of healing. <laughs> Play a little music a little bit, get in my zone. So we're talking about what is the truth. The truth is you are abundant, you are healthy. You're here doing what you've always desired to do, to experience, to unfold. You have all the things that you could possibly imagine or ever desire within. It's all encoded in your experience and actuality it's a way of being. It's the nature of this particular experience. It is the way infinite intelligence is expressing itself through you at this point on your journey. So here's what's necessary. We need to, we don't even need, but it's mature to embody that knowing, that notion, those ideas. The truth is, love is, it all is now. It's the truth of existence itself. We've been experiencing the illusion. The illusion is just that, not real, not the truth. It's in us embodying this sense of presence, this frequency of being encoded within our being, like in our filter, that allows us to become a magnet. And the magnet is more and more potent, the more and more we embody and truly accept the truth, this knowing. At the moment, we still have this idea of desire. I want to, I need to do this so I'm healthy. I have to get this done or do this so I have the money or the abundance or whatever it is that we desire, the resources and what have you. We feel as if there's this prerequisite and we speak in that particular manner. It's just our wants and our desires. Our wants and desires are in actuality validating the illusion, validating that what we desire is not already unfolding or happening before us. What we want it's not there, so we want it. It's not a part of us, so we want it. And by us wanting it, we assume the opposite is true. We don't have it. <laughs> we 
we're attempting to create health for ourselves when there's no such thing as illness. That's the illusion. There's no such thing as poverty. That's the illusion. And when we assume or have this position where we feel as if this is something that we are in pursuit of, once again, we validate that it is not the absolute truth already in this now moment. <laughs> this can be a lot to the logical mind because it's the exact opposite of what we feel we see or what makes sense or what life has been. So once again, it goes against all programming, everything that we've been fed about existence itself. It goes against that. It's just that this is an aligned way of being. What's necessary in essence is a surrendering the ego. Not to say we're doing away with our character, our preferences all at once. It's taking a step back and being more of an observer than a pure, unconditional observer than a person that sees everything through a myriad of filters and labels and judgments. So this is good and this is bad and this is fair. This is unfair. This is not cool. Like if we would actually take the time to establish a foundation of purely being and observing life in the frequency of being that we desire to be in. We discontinue validating the things that are not real. This can be out there <laughs> for a lot of intellectuals. It's just that those sensitive enough to tap into both the divine masculine and feminine are aware of that golden thread of observation and decision-making. Decision-making happening in this now moment, however, the observation is in allowing the the pictures, the colors, the experiences to flow through. You're in the flow without holding on to anything particular. You're enjoying the experience. It's a dance. While you dance, you don't think about dancing. However, if something were to occur, the mind would be there to be able to make decisions in, in lieu of what's taking place. However, we don't think while we're dancing. To feel like we are here to create something in the world. <laughs> That's also validating the idea that that's not already taking place or that is not already the case. We've already, we're already creating the world itself and we're in the process of unfolding the conscious experience of that which we've already created. To feel that we're here to protect something, it's necessary for us to protect stuff. We kind of went over this as well. The energy of protection or security is to validate that things can be taken away from you or harm. To validate the danger. Or I'm in danger, so I need to protect myself. This is, once again, that is the validating affirmation. I am in danger, so I need to protect myself, my loved ones, and what have you. It's just that fear is at the foundation of that initiation in itself. Same thing with our health. We've experienced ailments, of course. Some of us are experiencing ailments at present. It's just that the state of being that's necessary to allow for the natural alignment and clearing of distortion from the physical body in itself is to realize that 
The truth is you are healthy. You are health. You are abundant. You already are aligned. It's necessary for you to recognize that energy and that frequency of being at the root of our physical existence to allow physicality to mirror this knowing. This is us focusing on the old world, the old reality or the old illusion and continuing to validate that based on our understanding of the process of evolution linearly. Once again, we're in this new fabric, this feminine cycle of receptivity and creation and manifestation and frequency. We tap into the frequency of the reality that we desire via stillness. However, we must recognize that that exists now. The truth of health and you being aligned and in a beautiful space of openness and clarity mentally is something that already exists now. It's just necessary that you recognize that and allow for all the processes under or which are byproducts of our energetic sense of being to manifest themselves on that particular level in succession. However, the heart what we're talking about, the heart, where you sit, the throne, it's necessary for you to recognize that that's already the truth. And there's nothing that I per se need to do to make that happen. Because once again, me feeling I need to make this happen is me validating that it's, it not, it's not already the case. Well, that is not the truth. That is a whole lot. Simple sentences can unpack into <laughs> so many colors that are necessary to play with in order to paint the picture that's necessary for us to process the idea. This is about what is, beloved, what already is. This is about you recognizing what already is. You're already doing, you're already unfolding everything that you've desired, that you desire for yourself. It's already happening. That's because you recognize that that already is. So once again, that frequency is a magnet. And the more you process and embody that energy, the more life must crystallize your energy, your belief systems, what you know to be the truth. Life must materialize that energy for you because you know it deep in your heart that that's already true now. There's no waiting. There's not anything I, that needs to happen outside of me. I know this is happening. I'm just in the process of seeing that unfold. Be in the miracle, beloved. Recognize what it is for what it is. Take your time. Happy full moon. Be confident. Accept. Allow. Surrender. Love y'all. Commander Ash Child.